These are the icons, the legends, iconic luxury makeup that are worth the price tag. As promised on my latest Sephora recommendations video, I'm coming today to share with you those iconic makeup products from luxury brands that are carried at Sephora and that are worth the price tag. Now, why at Sephora? Because if you are not aware of, Sephora is having their savings event for this spring 2023 starting April 14th. I will be leaving all the details of the sale, including the code that you need to use at checkout, whether you want your order to be cheap to your home or if you want to order on your app and then pick it up later on at your local Sephora store or perhaps same day delivery, you can do so. Again, all those details will be on the description box below, the links for each of the products. But you know, my friends, here on my YouTube channel, I dedicated to luxury beauty in general. I have tried during the years that by the way, I'm on my fourth floor, I'm over 40 years old. So I have tried so many different products throughout the years that I can with confidence tell you which are those iconic products, those legendary products from luxury brands that if you have been asking yourself, are they really worth it? To me, these are, and mostly if you get a discount on them. So let's go ahead and get it started. First with Gucci and their pressed powder. If you want to have porcelain doll kind of skin, if you want your imperfections, texture, and large pores, I do have all of those completely blur. This is it, and it's not heavy. It's not gonna add more to your foundation. It's not gonna change the shade of your foundation because it doesn't oxidize. It's extremely smooth, super easy to use. And I mean, the compact, <laughs> it is extraordinary. But the powder, that is what is extraordinary. The finish that it gives to your makeup look. Another favorite from Gucci are their bronzers. Oh my goodness, do you remember when these bronzers came? It was like all the craze and they have a still a top spot in my heart. They have a kind of like a satiny formulation, perhaps even demi matte. It kind of like lands right in the middle to give you a very natural effect to your look. They come in different shades and they are extremely easy to blend. And last year, Gucci came out with the Gucci blushes. I decided to pick up every single shade. By the way, if you're wondering about shade range, you want to see them in action, I have reviews for each single of these products here on my channel. I have pretty much almost 1,000 videos on my channel. So um, yeah, I dedicate myself to do a ton, a ton of reviews with a ton of comparisons, everything filmed in natural light, just as this video. And yeah, the Gucci blushes. They are fantastic, super smooth and full of pigmentation without being overwhelming. Sometimes I find out that certain blushes, they carry so much pigment that once, I mean like, I mean, fantastic, they will cater for deeper complexions. But what about if you like the tone and you would like to build it up and you have a lighter complexion? I have a light to medium complexion and these blushes from Gucci are fantastic. I know Rosy Glow, which is right here somewhere, is, oh yeah, here we go, <laughs> is one of the OGs, one of my OGs, but certainly do not dismiss the other shades. One of my favorite ones is 03 Radiant Pink. It does have kind of like a corally tone. I'm thinking that we're going into, well, we're already in the spring, soon summertime. I think getting a couple, you know, fun shades could be something a little bit more fun. Also, another products that are fantastic from Gucci are their lipsticks. They have them in so many different formulations, from balms, from matte finish, satin finish. I mean, you name it, shine incredible formula. So I think that with any of the Gucci lip products, you will not go wrong. But one of my favorite lipstick from Gucci that I feel that it works in actually many skin tones is Blaze of Noon. I feel like this is a perfect kind of neutral pink kind of nude that you can wear every single day. It applies perfectly 
full opacity and it has the right amount of shine for being this in a specific a satin finish it's not way too shiny it doesn't gather on the fine lines and it doesn't move around although you have to reapply them they are fantastic lipsticks going into dior king of luminizers and a luminizer is very different than a highlighter a highlighter in general is going to give you a more intense even borderline metallic look um it's just a little bit nowadays i would say a little bit too harsh for what i'm looking for while a luminizer gives you that ethereal glow that it looks very candid and it actually bring some juice to your skin and definitely I think a product from Dior that sometimes it doesn't get enough hype and today I'm not talking about hype products but products that actually are iconic that they always work no matter what in a specific this is the Dior Forever Couture Luminizer in Nude Glow it may look a little bit darker on the pan but it just kind of neutralizes your skin tone and it just lets see a beautiful shine through your skin that is again simply ethereal another amazing product from dior are the dior attic lip shines that they come in so many different shades in fact when these were reformulated what was it i think a year ago i actually swatched i think it was like 20 different shades and since then i have been adding more and more to my collection and you can even customize them in general they come with this beautiful black kind of oblique design packaging which is gorgeous but you can buy these limited edition cases that are gorgeous i mean <laughs> look at these beautiful cases but the shine that these lipsticks they give to your lips they hydrate your lips they are comfortable and they carry pigment and they are super shiny and even in the deepest shades you're gonna have these beautiful opacity you can actually see the full pigment of that lipstick in all its glory the shade that i have on today is nude look which is an iconic shade for dior is their nude shade they are iconic nude shade but i will recommend any of them in any shade another shade that i love is atelier and this is more for like an everyday kind of rosy pillow talk kind of vibe and then for summer springtime i love mimi rose this is a perfect shade with a really nice tan oh my these are gorgeous i'm talking about lipsticks the lip maximizers from dior oh to me um I know a lot of people, they love the lip oils from Dior and I like them too, but the lip maximizers. And now with this reformulation, oh, I love them so much because they plump your lips, but in a gentle way. The previous formula to me was just a little bit too harsh. And although I'm used to um, using plumping kind of products for my lips, but this new formulation it's amazing and they come in a variety of shades that they actually show on your lips so it's a hybrid of a plumping um product with a gloss like a plumping gloss lip maximizers take your lips to the max and i know these two cuties they are very popular i mean mostly rosy glow in this blush by dior which it is stunning and i will say definitely yes i love 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 this blush and i always say it stop trying to find a dupe for this beauty because they work with the ph of your skin in fact when you open it up this is just kind of like a cover because there's a little mirror right here as you can tell I mean, I feel that it's going to be even washed out on, <laughs> on camera. But do you see right there how it changed? Is it because it does change, obviously, with the pH? It does have more of like a lilac undertone. I will say, do not forget about the Rosy Glow Blush in Coral. This is a gorgeous tone for spring and summertime. I think a good coral shade can bring some a beautiful warmth to the skin. But this is, again, another chameleonic kind of blush. But I brought this up because I have a huge preference for the OG, the original Dior blushes. I know the backstage line is a lot less expensive than the Dior 
exclusive line, but these blushes from Dior. This is in the shade Montaigne, and then I have another one right here, yeah. Charnel, they are gorgeous. Now, one thing I have to tell you, if you really have been eyeing these blushes for a long time and you have always put them aside on your wish list and never pulled the trigger, um, I don't know, perhaps you wanna get them because I know, I heard, that these are gonna be reformulated. Hopefully they are gonna be as good and that they will come in more shades than whatever we have right now. But if you have an eye in these shades, Charnel or Rose Montaigne, the one that I have right here that you see with embossing was the limited edition one, but I will highly suggest you, if you haven't picked one up yet, go ahead and do so. The next brand is Givenchy. And this is their iconic product. And there's a reason why, the Prism Libre Loose Setting Powder. I have it in the shade three, Walla Rosé, which it just, because of the rosy undertone, it's just gonna give a brightening effect under the eye area. It's extremely finely new, that is almost imperceptible to the naked eye. Also, because of the type of formulation and the type of finish, it gives a soft matte with a slight luminosity to the skin, but there is no sparkles, no shimmer, no glitter. I love this powder in a specific for the under eye area. And one other thing that I love about the Givenchy Prims Livre loose setting powder is that they come in different shades for different skin tones. So I know this number three has become so popular because it's pink, but if you have a deeper complexion, they do have different tones. In fact, there's even another one that isn't specific to color correct. So you have green, it has peach in it, it has even lilac. It's ideal if you have color correction to do on your skin, that setting powder will be fantastic for you. And I cannot wait. I do have it on my collection and you know my friends because when I'm set, when I set my eye on something, I always try to get it. I have this thing loose setting powder, but in the compact version and I love them so much. I cannot wait for them to come to United States. But anyhow, if you have been eyeing this iconic product by Givenchy. Don't question it anymore, just add it to card. And my next luxury brand is Giorgio Armani. And how not to talk about the Luminous Silk Foundation. What an iconic foundation. I think this foundation is in particular so iconic because how chameleonic it is. I feel that this foundation works for those who have dry skin, combination skin, normal skin, oily skin. It works for different ages. I mean, I have seen, you know, my friends, or if you don't know if you're new here, welcome to my channel and welcome to all of you beautiful friends. But I'm a caterer and I do catering for a lot of weddings and I'm also a wedding planner. So I get to see what makeup artists they bring to do the makeup to the bride, to the bridesmaid, to the mother of the bride. And this is pretty much in every single makeup kit of every single makeup artist that I have worked with. It is incredible. It actually comes in so many different shades. The finish is beautiful. It is long lasting and it doesn't feel heavy on the skin. So it doesn't feel like you're having too much makeup on you. It really has that luminosity from a silk fiber. Fabric. That's what it is. And I cannot wait to try the new Luminous Silk Blushes by Armani. I'm so intrigued and I'm so curious and I cannot wait to give them a go. The second product from Giorgio Armani that I think has been a little bit neglected, but I remember this was a very popular item on the past, are their liquid eyeshadows. They don't crease, they don't batch, they look gorgeous, seamless with a lot of pigmentation and they come in a variety of shades. The shade that I like, I think this is called Rose Gold or Rose something, no gold. The shades, I will be putting it on the description box below, but this is stunning, stunning. The formulation is just thin, and it does increase. I do have a lot of falls on my eyelids and I feel with these eyeshadows so secure and they are, again, long lasting. Now let's talk about a relatively new brand. It came out perhaps, what, four, five, 
years ago, something along those lines, and I'm talking about Westman Atelier. And it is a brand in particular that not even on sales of other retailers, it goes on sale or is included on certain promos and discounts. So to me, the Sephora sale, it's an ideal moment if you're looking to try Westman Atelier, this is the time. And that iconic product from that brand is a super loaded tinted highlighter. I love all of the shades and perhaps you have already watched, I, I mean, I have done a review of this product. I also have done side-by-side -side comparisons of all the different shades of this specific formula. One of my favorite ones is Peau de Peche because just like the Dior Luminizer, this is, well, this is a different formula. It's kind of like a cream to powder formulation. If you can see, it's like you can press it and it, it runs like a cream but the finish is like powder and it has that same property as Nude Glow from Dior that that any undertone kind of disappears from the skin and the only thing that you are finished with is this beautiful natural glow a glow that it calls for okay there's healthy skin there's juice on the skin it's a very well treated skin and it's not an overly done makeup. It's just stunning. And I feel this is the perfect formula if you are afraid to use cream products and you're more fond to powders, but you are in that transition that you feel that powder emphasize texture, this will not, this is just perfection. Another product by Westman Atelier that is fantastic are their blushes. These blushes are, to me, again, another iconic, legendary product. In a way, they come in so many different shades. Some of my favorite ones are Minette, Chouchette, and Popette. Look at that pinky tone. And do not be afraid. And I think that is the beauty of this brand, Westman Atelier, that is made to simplify makeup, to do not make it... Oh my gosh, I don't know how to use these products. Everything is going to become, you know, like a melted pot of things, but actually that are easy to use, easy to blend, easy to build on pigmentation. The packaging is obviously gorgeous, magnetic. I'm like, really? <laughs> Just a pleasure. Um, but the importance right here is the product itself, the formulation itself is not you know certain cream blushes they can be a little bit too balmy they look too oily or they just lift up the rest of your foundation and these they do not do so another product again from westman atelier are their face trace contour stick and i use in a specific the shade truffle which is the deeper shade do not be afraid about it i like this shade in particular because i feel that biscuit the lighter shade it just looks a tiny tiny bit too cool tone for my undertone it just feels again a little bit more cool tone but truffle is just the perfect brings me the perfect warmth um in addition it does have a little bit of red kind of hue to it so it just makes me look still chisel but bronzy and although it's a deeper shade it blends with easy and just as the blushes you can build on pigmentation so you just pass one step it in with your brush and then you can build it on as you need to it's definitely a fantastic product and my next brand is tom ford and this is gonna be too hard i i think i should just stop this video right here no i'm just kidding <laughs> I'm just joking. But Tom Ford, he is on a leak of his own. It has been so hard for me to really, like when I thought, oh yes, immediately this product, then I thought, oh, but this one too, and then this one too. I mean, like to me, obviously, Tom Ford deserves a video just fully for the brand. But let me narrow down right here with products that I use and adore, wet and dry formula from Tom Ford. Um, one of my most beloved eyeshadow quads and I have pretty much all of the eyeshadow quads from Tom Ford. This is Suspicion. I love this shade. It's the one <laughs> that I'm using today. It is the one that I trust, that I know this is a signature look for me, that it just makes my 
my eyes, my face look brighter and more awakened. And, and they give me this summer goddess look that I can achieve it like this. There's no fast, it's, it's fast and easy. And the wet and dry formulation, it does have that property to have that kind of like glistening, satiny, some of the shades, even a little bit more metallic finish. You can intensify it by using them wet. But even though when, if you have like myself, I have fine lines on my eyelids. It doesn't emphasize them. It doesn't emphasize texture. You don't have fallout. Simplistic four shades and you have a stunning look or use one shade or two shades. I mean, you don't have to use all of them, but I feel that they are just so well created. And talking about eyeshadow quads from Tom Ford, a recent formulation that they just launched is their cream eye formulation, which is a kind of like cream to powder kind of formula. Not creamy in terms of like a true cream, but that softness of a cream that it just runs smoothly it looks like even the matte shades they look like they are blur on your skin like there's a blurring kind of effect and then these eyeshadows that are more like impactful they do have these kind of like wet finish that they just look fantastic so if you are a little bit afraid of the wet and dry formulation because they all have this kind of like satin kind of finish and you want something that has a little bit more matte that is a little bit more grounded that you feel more comfortable if say you're afraid that okay i have too many lines on my eyelids too much texture i don't want to use something that is fully satiny then go for the eye cream formulation and these formulations are no-brainer you don't have to be an expert you don't have to be a makeup artist to use these eyeshadows and be successful with your eyeshadow looks and if you're a makeup artist i know that you know i'm not lying that most of you you have the shade and illuminate sculpting and luminizer duos from Tom Ford that I'm so happy because I think it was last year they didn't reformulate the product but they actually brought them with different variations of highlighter and the contour shade and this contour shade to me is fantastic because it is neutral it's not the one that is going to give you a harsh line a grayish kind of cast to your look no all the opposite it it has a little bit of a neutrality that gives a shadow, but at the same time, um, while contouring, is bringing you a little bit of that warmth to a natural bronze. So it's like a double product in one. And do not dismiss the highlighter. Perhaps it's one thing of this duo that a lot of people, they do not pay attention to, but this is a beautiful, beautiful, beautiful product. It's soft, it goes on kind of clear. Like, as you can tell, if I put it on, it just gives this kind of glossy effect, but it does have a little bit of density that it will not drag your makeup underneath, but in fact that it will just kind of like create this little film that is invisible, but it just reflects the light without having a harsh tone to it. It's just fantastic. So definitely you can choose any shade. The shade that I use the most is Intensity 1, although I have Intensity 2 that I like to use it when I'm at my most bronze stage, which I'm not right now. <laughs> Absolutely, I'm so pale. I need some color in my life. And how can I narrow down Tom Ford products if I don't talk about their lip products? <sighs> their lipsticks are iconic. I mean, if you are into luxury makeup, not having a Tom Ford Lipstick is like, really? You haven't tried out Tom Ford lipstick? <laughs> Casablanca, one of my favorite ones. Indian Rose, one of my perfect nudes. Uh, well, there's so many. But Sable the Smoke is perfection. Just perfection. So, yeah. I mean, with Tom Ford, you will not go wrong. Their formula is, in fact... Although they are supposed to be in the matte finish, they are not matte, they are a natural finish. Very much I like to say a Gucci satin formulation in terms of that opacity, that easy of use, not, um, not heavy. But there is a transformative lip gloss that I keep repeating pretty much in every recommendations video that I do and every favorites video that I do. It is the Tom Ford lip gloss in a specific, the lip gloss in the bath 
this transforms every single lipstick when you're like i don't know my uh, this lipstick is really nice a shade but it needs something put this on it smells gorgeous it looks like if if it has some shimmer or if it's gonna be metallic but it's not it just makes your lips more full more pouty more juicy oh this is fantastic i have perhaps like five lip glosses on my collection that they do this to my lips they make them look fuller i do have kind of like mini lips <laughs> so i like to really show them off and just have that extra fullness and they, they just look more youthful they just look extra pretty and you're not adding anything metallic to it and how to leave aside our darling charlotte tilbury she's magical i mean i know she can use every adjective possible <laughs> to describe her products but she does magic with her makeup and there are some iconic products that i will say completely worth the hype the splurge the price tag absolutely glow gas and beauty light one this is pink gas and blush as you can tell it's almost flattened it because i use it quite a bit and i have used it way before. i mean like when this product launch when this product launch <laughs> I actually reviewed it many years ago <laughs> and well in that time it didn't became viral and whatnot but then throughout the years I mean like TikTok came Instagram came and then the product became viral but I have raved about this product for so long and then I kind of had it to stop because when it became viral it became unavailable and pretty much impossible to get anywhere because it was just completely out of stock but if it's a beauty it is a beauty the only thing with this blush it that it has that kind of hybrid and that's why it's called a high blush half highlighter half blush so if you are not very comfortable wearing a highlighter as a blush or such of intensity of a blush that has a little bit not shimmer but you know that extra luminosity she has come out with the pillow talk matte beauty blushes she has come out with the same version but in a matte formulation different shades easy to use easy to blend i mean how many times i have to say this but friends to me if they are not easy to use if they are not easy to blend if they don't have the right pigment if they don't have the right finish they are not gonna cut it for me i will even declutter them and if i keep anything on my collection that is not up to my standard or above i have it only because i'm reviewing makeup and i need to do comparisons that's the raw truth what I have to do in terms of my makeup collection. Not really because I want to have certain products. Sometimes I just have them because, again, comparing them. But most of my collection is just purely those products that I trust, that I know that I, I will miss them. I will miss them so much to be out of here. If you, I mean, I have recorded, but it's just so long that I even feel bad to put it here on my channel because I decluttered five big tabs full of makeup i know it's sad but i mean some of them i donated some of them is even still my garage so i still need to sort them out and check if other people want them but these blushes by charlotte tilbury are fantastic and also on kind of the same formula are the hollywood beauty beauty light ones the shade spotlight it is like that spotlight it's a little bit more beaming a true highlighter is not like say the westman atelier or the dior uh, luminizers they are actually a spotlight you can really see that beaming effect but it's not harsh it's also classic it charlotte tilbury knows how to do her makeup with elegance and that's something that i really appreciate from her now one stunning amazing bronzer is this baby by charlotte tilbury it's airbrush that's all what i have to tell you they are refillable so you can even buy the pan and just put it in a magnetic z palette or you know buy this beautiful compact but these bronzers they give you this amazing airbrush kind of effect they really bronze up your skin beautifully effortless finely meal 
excellent. And I really love when brands think about the footprint that they are leaving on earth by bringing their products as refills. To me, those details on design are so thoughtful that I greatly appreciate them. And oh, we wish Charlotte Tilbury, yes. <laughs> This is the Airbrush Flawless Setting Spray. If you want your makeup to stay in place all night long without really changing the finish of your look, say you are going more with a dewy look or you have a complete matte look and you just do not want to change that at all and whatsoever, but you want your makeup to last throughout the night and do not have the harsh alcohol in it, because this doesn't have any alcohol in it, doesn't dry your skin, this is, this is your friend. You're going for a gala, you're going for a date, and you want to look perfect, or you have a long day that you have to keep your makeup on, trust it. And who is that brand that brought that innovative soft focus effect? You know it, right? It's Hourglass, none other than Hourglass. An iconic product for them is the ambient lighting palettes that now they come in different shades, like for light to medium skin tone, medium to tan, and then tan to deep complexions. Thank goodness, Hourglass, we really needed that. And I'm super happy to say that this product is like magic. It gives that blurring soft focus effect that really softens all texture, all kind of enlarged pores. It just brings your future in. You can use the shades individually, use different type of brushes to intensify whatever you want to intensify from here, or just grab one brush and just go up and down and then just buff it in. And it just looks incredible. Fantastic. This is an iconic product for a reason if you want that soft focus effect. I'm talking about soft focus effect. Another setting spray is the Veil Soft Focus Setting Spray. Now this one, different than say the one from Charlotte Tilbury, more than locking your makeup in place, yes it helps with the longevity, but what it does is again, give that blurring effect to your skin and actually give a little bit of radiance. Like to me, this is fantastic when I know I have to use a foundation that I know that after like six, seven hour mark, although it's gonna be just completely there, it's just gonna perhaps look a little bit too dull because I do have dry skin. Or for example, when I do the makeup on my mom, she is over 80 years old. So I wanna bring, you know, that, youthful look to her skin. I spray these and everything meshes together so pretty that in fact remembering about my mom, I will be buying these for her because she enjoys it so much. The spray too is a fine means, so it's not aggressive. It's nothing that is gonna like, oh, slap on my face. And I think that's also important if you're working on a client too. <laughs> it's like, you don't wanna spray something that it actually feels like they are like spraying something harsh on you. You want, you know, a soft mist on the skin that it just makes everything beautiful and even. And although I have already spoke about this new product from Hourglass, to me, I'm sure it's gonna become an iconic product. And they are the new Unlock lipsticks from Hourglass. That beautiful pigmentation, beautiful opacity. I mentioned it on my review. They truly remind me to the Tom Ford formulation how pigmented they are, not heavy, they don't build up, they don't crack, they just keep your lips nourished throughout the day with full opacity. They have so many different shades, pinks, nudes, um, reds. They have done an incredible job. I love, love, love this formula. I'm not gonna repeat myself too much because I have already done so. And then a product that I was missing on my collection, Marc Jacobs stopped making makeup a couple years ago and one of my beloved gel eyeliners was from Marc Jacobs and then finally Hourglass bring a very alike formula with the Bonjour Eyeliner Gel Waterproof Eyeliners. 
This can go on the water line and it will not batch, it will stay there. They don't crease, they don't run, they don't smudge. They are non-heavy because they have this vegan, cruelty-free formulation. They are also very easy on the eyelids. So I do have a lot of allergies and that is something that is terrible for me. And because my eyes become really watery right away and these are just perfection and super easy to use also super easy if you want to smudge them too but for the waterline they are magical and now let's talk about Gahlang which it is First and foremost, a fragrance house. And actually at Sephora, they carry so many Guerlain fragrances that are just fantastic. But talking in the specific about makeup, none other than the meteorites. This is like iconic for a reason. It's again, that soft focus, blurring effect, perfection. To me, I love to apply it. Let's see if I, oh. Here we go with my La Mer brush. I don't like to buff it with a dense pack brush, but rather with a fluffy brush like this one because it just gives me that aura effect that makes my makeup look so ethereal and just everything just comes together beautifully. They have them in different shades. They also come in limited edition shades, but these little pearly balls, believe me when I'm telling you that they are completely magical and they are the perfect finishing powder. A product from Guerlain that I don't see many people talk about anymore, but I, anytime that I go for a trip, I pack it in. It's a terracotta highlighting stick. And this shade in particular is not going to give you a stripe of nothing. You see right there? Look at that. Soft, smooth, and oh, the glow. <laughs> the glow is so magical. Again, it does have that tonality of the Westman Atelier that it just makes it very alike to the skin tone and it kind of like disappears. It's like kind of there but not there but when the light hits is there <laughs> it's just fantastic and talking about terracotta I mean king of bronzers I think if I don't mistake it the bronzer concept comes from Guerlain and the OG terracotta which is a bronzer and they are king of this they have them in different variations the finish of this bronzer is airbrush with a satin finish, non-glitter, no shimmer. Soft, smooth, and thin and buildable. So these are fantastic. In fact, if you go to France, they don't even say bronzer to bronzer. They will just tell you terracotta, and it is by Guerlain. And since I was talking about La Mer with this exquisite brush, I know they are mostly focused on skincare, which um, opposite to some people that they don't like La Mer skincare because they think that it's overhype, etc. I'm on Team La Mer. But let's talk about products, makeup products from them, like the Radiant Skin Tint with SPF 30. Now that we're in the spring, summer is coming, you need to use SPF no matter what all year round. But if you want an excellent coverage SPF that is super gorgeous with a radiant finish and that it carries all those beautiful ingredients from Le Mer with the miracle broth, even if you believe it or not, <laughs> it has algae, then this is one of my very, very favorite skin tints. Top, top, top is, I mean, this is what, my third? Yeah, I think this is my third one that I'm going through. Really, really impressive skin tint that is actually long wearing. And talking about skin tint, the foundation of La Mer. I have been talking about this foundation for years now. As I was telling you, I cater weddings and events and on my area, there's a lot of wineries, outdoor kind of venues, villas. Um, it's not too much of ballroom. So we have to be outside under the weather conditions, whether it's extremely sunny, extremely hot or rainy or windy and whatnot, <laughs> right? So I have, I mean, this 
foundation has proved me that can last me all day long, staying in place, looking gorgeous, a natural finish, and it also has SPF 20, which is fantastic because although I use underneath, obviously, my SPF, just having an extra boost because that's the way that I treat the skin tint from Le Mer or this foundation is like a boost to the SPF that I have underneath my makeup. And since I was just talking about a brand that mainly they focus on skincare, I think it's just fair to touch base to a primer that has been a love of mine for a few years and is still going strong is the Tatcha the Liquid Silk Canvas. This primer is also a kind of like a skin protector kind of barrier. It's not an SPF, it smooths your skin, it hydrates your skin, it brings comfort to your skin, but it's also acting as a filming protector from the environment, things that come in contact to your skin. And to me, a person that has so many allergies that I feel that things immediately start itching on me if they don't have the right formulation. This product is fantastic. I have confidence and trust and a little goes a long way. I think Tatcha in general, they do fantastic products that I even think that although they emphasize on the skincare line, if they decide to come with, you know, very soft, light makeup, I think they will do an incredible job. And another thing, I don't have it anymore here on my collection because I went through an entire little bottle of the SPF from Tatcha. It's fantastic too. An amazing product if you're thinking about the months ahead and you want SPF that can work wonderful under your makeup think about Tatcha. Talking about base products, I'm going to go to the next brand, Bobbi Brown and uh, Vitamin Enrich Face Base. This is an OG for many because it brings hydration to your skin. It prepares your face beautifully. Although the consistency may seem a little bit thick, it's not heavy and it's not really thick. It just creates not even a barrier because it will not slip and slide, but it just hydrates and moisturizes your skin beautifully. And talking about Bobbi Brown, I mean, the OG eyeshadow on the sticks. And I'm so happy because they are now offering their eyeshadow sticks in duo. So one side is a matte shade and the other opposite side, it's a more of like a satin borderline metallic shade. Whoever thought inside Bobbi Brown about that concept, Thank you, because I think the practicality to have an eyeshadow stick but have it double-ended, it's even better. And with this formula that is non-drying, that is not heavy, that it doesn't increase either, that is easy to blend, that you don't need to be an expert to use it, I mean, this just makes of everybody's day a breeze an ideal product also to travel with now, i included on this list bobby brown although i really do not consider bobby brown as a luxury brand but i thought you know it's such an iconic brand that it deserves a spot here such as laura mercier and no i'm not gonna bring the loose setting powder here of laura mercier because i feel that that is old technology. That is something that even many years ago when I tried so many times, so many times to kind of like make me love that powder, I dislike it so much. I try even the under eye loose setting powder, the brightening one, to see if that will give me what I needed it. And it was always looking cakey. I think perhaps, I mean, I have lived in humid climates, perhaps living in a humid climate with a normal combination of skin, you will like it. But if you are aging or if you live in a drier area or you just, I don't know, just, I, I don't think, I, I just, I just, sorry. <laughs> an unpopular opinion for sure but what i will say definitely iconic and for a good reason are her blushes i have here fresco and strawberry i also have many other different shades they are stunning pigmented long lasting beautiful blend i think the laura mercier blushes are something that if you don't have one in your collection you are missing out i'm talking about blushes another high-end brand patrick ta i think if you haven't tried his duo blushes you you have to highly suggest 
she's so elate and also she's blushing if you like something that has a little bit of a hint of pink go with she's blushing and if you like a very neutral warmy kind of tone then go with she's so la these are fantastic this will take you all year round this one to me is also ideal for summertime it is fantastic and the innovation and the formula is beautiful too because as suggested by Patrick Ta, you can go with your powder first and then over top go with the cream formula and it will add that youthful glow to the skin or just use one or the other or interchange them. I have full reviews on these blushes. I have all of them and I compare them side by side on my face, on my cheeks, so you can truly see the shades. But yes, the Patrick Ta blushes are something that are iconic and for a good reason. Now to Mrs. Huda Beauty. I think her large eyeshadow palettes in a specific rose quartz this beauty and this is something that I have to give it to Huda Beauty she really brings innovation to the industry every time she brings us something new something innovative and all her big eyeshadow palettes they are made in Italy and they have a very 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 light formulation to say at Pat McGrath eyeshadow palette a mothership palette where you have these impressive formulas high shine the mats work beautifully and they do not have fallout and rose quartz is one of my very favorite palettes because it has a lot of like muted pinky tones mauve a little bit of light bronze shades lilac tones too oh this palette is spectacular and talking about mother Pat McGrath well let's start first with this this is an OG concealer for me it is the Pat McGrath concealer full coverage lightweight impeccable there's only one other <laughs> concealer that has debunked this one, but it looks natural on the skin. You don't need to match. It's easy to blend. Oh, Pat McGrath, she did an incredible job with this concealer. And if you have noticed it, this is the only concealer that I have mentioned it on this video in that luxury high-end reel. And how not to talk about Pat McGrath without mentioning her mother, she by shadow palettes completely worth to me and I feel to be very honest with you that Pat McGrath should have just keep bringing us with these babies even if it was just once a year and not to say that I don't believe that she should have spanned her makeup line no it's not that but I think a treat of a mothership palette is like none other I have all of her mothership palettes my beloved one this is Divine Rose for many, boring, but you know what? It takes me for an everyday eyeshadow look and then jazz it up with these incredible astral shades that are fantastic. They do have fallout, the astral shades, but if you know how to work them, if you wet them too, they are fantastic. Then I have here Mothership Utopian Dream. I love this dream palette. I love this shade here. I mean, if you can tell, you see that lilac tone, it's just in another level incredible her matte formulations right here they are not really dry but they are more of a drier formulation than a typical matte but they blend so beautifully and they carry so so much pigment i'm from pat mcgrath too i have to talk about her blushes desert orchid this is a staple if you like fresco from laura mercier get desert orchid this is gorgeous if you like she's so LA from patrick ta get desert orchid they blend seamlessly they are beautiful they do have not all of them but this one in particular desert orchid has a little bit of a sheen no glitter but just it has that ethereal luminosity that i love on a makeup that it doesn't make my makeup look flat I love it. And you may be wondering what happened with the bronzers of Pat McGrath. Will you recommend them? You know, I wish that she would be faster at sending her packages because they haven't arrived yet. I cannot wait to try it. I mean, in fact, if I order from Sephora, it would arrive sooner. <laughs> and that's, yeah, Mrs. Pat McGrath. I love you and I love her sales. But the only thing is that she being at least to <laughs> where I live, it just takes years 
years and years, but that she has beautiful products. She does have beautiful products. And the very last brand that I wanna talk about today is Natasha Denona. Let's start first with her lip crayons. These are long lasting, beautiful pigment. The shade range that she has is fantastic. I think it's an iconic product for her and something that if you want, if you're a person that actually prefers to even have a lip liner instead of a lipstick and then go with a gloss or just simply use it as is, you're going to like this formulation because it's non-drying, it's not heavy, super easy to apply, very smooth, but it doesn't batch. It just stays on in place for hours and hours on end. And talking about lip products, I really love her lipsticks. They are truly stunning. I have here a limited edition packaging from her My Dream collection, and this one is in the shade Natasha. Oh, it is her name, Natasha. I'm sorry, it looks disgusting because as you can tell, I have used and abused of this baby so much. It's such an incredible shade that it has a little bit, it's a nudie with a slight um, cool tone pink undertone that is just fantastic with a smoky eyeshadow look. Talking about eyeshadow looks, how not to talk about Natasha Denona eyeshadows? I mean, they are iconic. And that's how we knew about Natasha Denona because of her eyeshadow palette and her eyeshadow formulations, which she had that cream to powder formula. She has these mesmerizing kind of wet formulations. To me, a palette that surpasses many of them, the Glam Palette. Hands down, you have here cool tones, you have neutrals, you have pinky tones, you have some actually neutral, slightly warmer tones right here with this copper shade and this beautiful matte shade. The way that they apply, the way that they blend, it, they, they are just incredible. I mean, look no farther if you want a beautiful Glam Palette that it will give you several different type of looks and it just glams you up. This, this is it, this is it. And if you wanna stay a little bit more into neutrals, but warmer, warmer neutrals, and then Viva Palette is a classic, and it's gorgeous too. But as you can tell, this plays more into the warmer sides with very few cool tones. This is more coppery and bronze and master shades and, and golden, and it's just brown and deeper. This is Viva Palette. Any of these will do. These are the legend products, those iconic products from luxury brands that they are carry at Sephora and that you can take advantage of the sale right now, get your discount. If you're a Rouge member, you'll get 20% off. If you're a VIV, 15% off. And if you're an insider, a 10% off. Before I leave, I want to mention it that I have applied to become a Sephora Squad member this year and the testimonials, I'm pretty sure they are still open. So if you haven't done so yet and you feel so keen to leave me a testimonial, it doesn't cost you anything, perhaps like a minute of your time or even less because it's very short and sweet. If you can leave me a testimonial, I will greatly appreciate it. If you have already done so, thank you so much from the bottom of my heart. I greatly appreciate you and I greatly appreciate all of the opportunities that you bring to me by watching my videos, by liking my videos, by shopping through my links, by following me on other social media platforms. All that support are blessings to me and I greatly, greatly appreciate you. Okay, my friends, and this is it for this video. I hope that you enjoyed it, that you find it helpful. Let me know if you have any of these products on your collection or if you are having any of these products on your wish list. Let's continue the conversation on the comment section down below. While you're at it, and if you haven't done so yet, I want to invite you to subscribe to my channel. Make sure you ring that post notification bell so you don't miss any of my uploads. It would be amazing if you can come and follow me on my Instagram and TikTok. If you like this video, please do not forget to give it a thumbs up, share with family and friends. And if you're not done watching my content, I will highly recommend you to check my Sephora recommendations video right here and another amazing video that I will be leaving right here too. Until the next time, I hope you have a beautiful, wonderful day. Bye-bye.